We now will begin recording the interview with Kayleigh Williams. The recording takes place on the 4th of February at Cardiff Central Library. The volunteers present are Liz and Lara, and this recording is going to be collected as an oral history and will be part of the Chronicle Project, a project led by VCS Cymru and funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Can you begin by telling me a bit about yourself, please? Okay, so as you said, my name's Kayleigh. I'm originally from Southampton, but I'm now a student at Cardiff Uni. Um, and when I was at university doing my undergrad uh, degree, I was involved in Cardiff University's mentoring scheme, which was voluntary. Okay, what was your role within that scheme? Um, so my role was to meet with first year students um, on a fortnightly basis and to just answer their queries and help them settle into uni. So we'd have like sessions each fortnight and they'd be like tailored. So first it'd be like icebreakers and trying to get everybody to get to know each other. Um, and there'd be other sessions where we looked at uh, housing and essays because obviously when you start uni it's such a big jump from having been at home and having done A level that there's quite a lot that you need to like get to grips with and sometimes it was much nicer to speak to somebody that had already done some of those things rather than go to your lecturers who of course are going to help you with the academic stuff but you can't really go to them Oh, do you know, do you know where's a nice area to live in Cardiff or, so yeah. So do you think you impacted on those students' lives? Um, yes and no. It's, you, when you met up with the students um, each fortnight, you'd get different students turn up and you know, different students got different things out of it. Especially when we did housing and like going to estate agencies and like looking into fees and who you should be living with and things like that it was loads of people would turn up for that because that's the sort of thing that causes arguments in first year when you've got a flat of eight and you're like actually I don't want to live in a flat of eight so people really benefited benefited from that other people sort of heard what the scheme had to say and were like actually I think I've got this sus so decided that they didn't want my help but that happens and then you had other students who really came to rely on the program so they would meet up with you every fortnight without fail and you wouldn't necessarily end up talking about what you planned to talk about something might have come up in the week and they would have been like oh actually this has come up can we go through this and we would so yeah people really did benefit from it differently so what do you think your biggest achievement was during the time? Um, definitely passing on the knowledge that I had. When I got to uni, there was so much I didn't know. Like, I didn't understand how housing worked or how to pay bills and just like basic things that everyday people get on with that you don't learn and you don't actually get from going to a lecture. So it was really nice to pass that on to people and actually have them learn from some of the mistakes I made because I did this scheme wasn't in place when I was a first year at uni so I would have really benefited from someone saying maybe don't go to that estate agent or maybe take some time to think about getting a house rather than rush into something because there's this whole idea that people are going to panic and that the houses are going to run out but they don't run out there's lots of houses so yeah I think just getting across my knowledge and so it could help somebody, it was definitely what I achieved from that. Can you think of a particular individual um, that you influenced the most? Um, yeah, so I had one student who she, she turned up every fortnight without fail and she had like a lot of difficulties like settling in and she didn't necessarily gel with all of our housemates at first and Part of it was like, she was like, I know it's sort of my fault because I could make more effort here. And so we'd like discuss, you know, what she could do and how she could maybe put herself out there and maybe feel more confident so that she could sort of bridge the gaps with her housemates and be happy. Because, you know, it's one of those things at uni that it's so important to try and be happy and try and make that effort, which I don't think everybody realises straight away or struggles with. Did you work closely with your fellow volunteers during this time? Uh, 
Yes. Um, so we had like once a month meetings where we would get together with like history mentors because I was within the history school but you'd get together with other schools as well so dentistry, um, earth sciences so you'd get to hear about their experiences and like share ideas as to how to overcome problems because it wasn't a perfect scheme so there were things that did need ironing out. Um, and so yeah, we did work together. When I did this role, it did eventually lead on to a paid role where I ended up working with other like consultants, but we then actually had to organize the volunteers and get them to get involved with other things and organize socials. So as the role went on and progressed, I got to get more involved with other people, definitely. Did you have any frustrations while you were volunteering or anything you think you could have done better? Oh, loads. Um, like, it was really rewarding, but when you say to somebody, when you say to a group of 15 people, we're going to have a meeting on such and such day, can you let me know if you're going to attend or not? And then one or two responds. You're like, okay, so I assume I'm seeing two. So then when eight turn up, you're like, I've not prepared for eight of you to turn up, so that's a bit difficult. But then, it's just one of these things, sometimes people don't realise that responding and saying you are or aren't going to attend can have like repercussions. So that was a bit frustrating. Um, I also found that I was awful at time management, so I should have done that a lot better. I would, I would prepare a session the night before at first thinking, you know what, they won't have very many questions. And in the first couple of weeks, they had loads of questions, so it wasn't as well organised as it could have been. And had I gone back and done it again, or had like another set of freshers to like help, I would have planned it much better and I would have put more time into planning it because you can't just plan to help somebody the night before. You need to actually think about it and try and structure it, which I did get to structure it more as the programme went on but at first I was awful like I put my hands up I did bad but I did improve. Do you think you'll take part in um, volunteering like that again or would you rather move on to something else in the future? Um, it's difficult to say because I guess it depends on the opportunity that comes up. I really enjoyed what I did as mentoring and volunteering because as I say, you got to pass on your own experiences, you got to help people, and you actually learned things from other people at the same time, which was really influential. And you also got to meet lots of different people, which helped. Um, so dependent on what the scenario was, it might be something I'd look into again, but where I am now in like studying for my masters and volunteering um, in oral history, I think I want to try and stick keep it a bit more focused and focus on volunteering in the heritage sector um, and maybe even getting more, you know, more, like just being more involved with the wider community um, and talking about history in the wider community and things like that because local history has become such a big thing so it definitely be where my interests are with volunteering now and I also felt with having volunteered with Cardiff Uni you get very involved in that Cardiff University community but I think there's like this university community and then there's this much wider community which I think if you stick to your university circles you don't get to embrace that wider community. So you've mentioned the wider community, yeah. do you think volunteering does allow the wider community to integrate and come together? I think so, definitely. I think there's so many different things out there now for people to get involved with. So, you know, where I did mentoring, you know, there's there's that for counselling now and like discussion groups and, you know, even on the local history side of things, there's so much you can get involved with. So I think it does help the wider community because you don't have, you know, I think all these different interests are catered for, so it's not as if it's just completely niche anymore there's just so much out there that it does benefit and I think also when you take on these opportunities you you find yourself getting involved with something that you might not necessarily realize and you realize you have all these other interests so yeah I think it definitely benefits and 
does more for the individual in getting involved, but then also has benefits for those who get to see this volunteering in place. And yeah. So what motivated you to volunteer um, in the first place? Um, well, when I was um, at school, um, we had like a mentoring scheme. Um, where we helped like year seven settle in and help them with their homework and things like that. So I really enjoyed doing that at school. So when I saw the opportunity come up at Cardiff Uni, I was like, actually, I'd really like to get involved with that. I really enjoyed doing that at school. And I've learned so much in the last year. Um, you know, this was the mindset I was in when I applied for the RAL that I actually think I could, you know, help, hopefully help some people avoid some of the mistakes I made um, and, you know, just learn a bit more and do something outside of your studies because it's so easy to get wrapped up in what you're doing at uni in terms of lectures and seminars that you forget there's this whole other world out there that exists. So would you say volunteering is a brilliant thing to do or do you think volunteering is a good thing to do along your studies? Oh, definitely. I think it's one of those things that the sooner you get involved with, the better. Because I think it opens you up to so many different opportunities. It's really beneficial for the person themselves, but also the wider community. And I know from my first year of studies, I didn't do a lot. Like, I had all this free time that I could have put to much better use and not only could it have helped somebody else but you know I would have gained some more skills from it because a degree is great but you need so much more than a degree you need these other skills that you you get from volunteering. So you've already touched on it but if um, you were to give some words of inspiration to someone thinking about volunteering what would you say? I would say you just have to go for it you're, you're never gonna know the whole process inside out you you may not have all the skills but you will develop those skills when I did the mentoring I got all this training so even if you don't have the skills whoever takes you on will help you and they will train you and they'll be very patient about it because they want your help and I think also as well as just thinking about yourself and what you can gain Volunteering will help you benefit so many other people and it's so rewarding. So I would just say go out and do it and, and stop hesitating. So finally, what does volunteering mean to you? <sighs> That's a tough question. Um, I would say it means putting yourself out there to gain knowledge and skills on the wider world, but also to give back to a community or a cause. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add before we finish? No, I don't think so. No? Okay, thank you very much. It's okay.